Hey everyone, I'm Elijah Smith, former South High graduate. I was in the culinary program at the school, the old school, smaller kitchen, but you have new facilities at the new school and another chef and a lot of possibilities for what you can do with your life and your opportunities at South High and beyond. Chef Sharon had asked me to make this video because I'm not able to get to you guys because I'm in lab right now working on my culinary stuff for Johnson & Wales, which is where I ended up after I graduated from the program. Chef Sharon is a wonderful chef who teaches you a lot and you can get a lot of real world industry experience brought to you from the school. Your internship opportunities, your hands-on assessments, your surf safe, your different assessments that'll get you ready for actually being in the industry. You learn your basic knife cuts. She really drills down on her food safety, which if you end up going out into the industry or out and do a four year or two year culinary degree, either here or at another school, um, preferably Johnson & Wales though, you will have a really, really, really good starting point if you're coming from this program. We, we set you up for success and I'm here as a fourth semester student with senior status because I've been able to have so many opportunities handed to me via the internships, via the outside um, influences of South High, all the AP classes I took in concurrency with my culinary program. You're able to do a lot if you put yourself out there. And if there was one thing I'm gonna tell to you as a prof prospective student looking at any of these programs tonight, they're all great. I personally went with culinary, but early childhood and diesel are wonderful programs. If you're gonna even think about going into any of them, you need to have some passion behind your decision. If you don't have a passion for what you're gonna be spending your next four years on even at all, then there's really no point. You've gotta at least have some drive or some willingness to learn or some willingness to grow yourself as a person. You've got a lot to, pardon me, you've got a lot to do in the next four years and you have a lot of decisions to make, but this is an important one that you need to make now and if you don't have the passion behind it, then you need to rethink what you're doing. But that may sound a little grim, but from my experience, it's the most valuable thing you're gonna hear. So I appreciate you taking the time and good luck with the rest of your day and your next four years.